Dope Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now if I got it on, it's on. Boom. You know what I'm saying? We're talking Anthony Joshua, Anthony Ruiz, the residue after Anthony Joshua wins the, the match, right? And he won the match, hands down, running away with it, didn't he? <laughs> right? Wasn't no one close fight, right? He was very cautious, but he brought it home, right? But a lot of people, right, were going for Andy Ruiz Jr. to win the fight. And most of the time, if you weren't Mexican or you liked him for other reasons or, you know, it's just Andy Ruiz, somebody you can't hate on. You know what I mean? He's a nice guy. A lot of reasons to go for Andy Ruiz Jr. But the main one for most of us, me included, y'all know what time it is, is because after, if he were to win, we would have got an undisputed fight with him and Deontay Wilder. And also, we probably would have had from that PBC, because um, both of them are under the PBC. It's a long story, but they're both under the same promotional company. They could have fought. And even if these belts, which I'm going to talk about, the WBO and the IBF coming in, saying, hey, you know, the winner has to fight somebody, a mandatory, right? Getting in the way of undisputed. Which they shouldn't because Undisputed trumps everything. But they do it anyway, right? You could ignore them and have Andy Ruiz fight uh, Deontay Wilder for Undisputed. For and people who still know, hey, that's Undisputed. Which would start the lineage and that would be PBC's first champion. A real Undisputed champion. Well, that didn't happen, right? Now, as far as the PBC goes, I would have the PBC, if I were them, make the belt anyway, right? And have... Your fighters, because you got enough of them in the heavyweight division, have a small tournament, WBWS style tournament. You know, maybe you don't need eight fighters, maybe at least four, you know, and go in there and have a tournament. The winner of that tournament can get in line to fight Wilder, for example, you know, if he's still champion at the time. You don't want to just say he's going to just be champion and all that. But I'm just saying, so they can, you know, get some significance going here. Because the WBO and the, I, the IBF, but they was talking about before the fight with Anthony Joshua and Ruiz. Hey, we're going to strip the guy if he doesn't fight Alexander Uzik. Right? The WBO. He j the Alexander Uzik just got up to, to uh, heavyweight division. Now it's Alexander Uzik we're talking about. Undisputed Cruiserweight champion. He's supposed to get the red carpet in the heavyweight division. But I guarantee if you ask Alexander Uzik, hey man, can you wait one more fight so they can do Undisputed? He, of all people, knowing what Undisputed is, would say, hell yeah, I'll wait for that. Because that makes my job a little bit easier. When the dude who wins, I can get that fight, and I'm undisputed without having to go all over the damn place. Because in the heavyweight division, y'all ain't gonna have no WBWS tournament. Right? Too many people who wouldn't get in it. <laughs> Just like the middleweight division with Canelo and uh, Gennady Golovkin and them. I wouldn't shouldn't even say in them. Canelo and Gennady Golovkin, just those two, they wouldn't get in it. Right? In the heavyweight division, I ain't gonna say no names, but I think there would be a couple that wouldn't even get in it. Right? Because they can finagle and have fans behind them and do stuff. So, that's why Uzek would wait. Right? Now, Pulev might be a problem at the IBF. Because he thinks he's been waiting for a long time. But he really been doing nothing. But, you know, the bottom line is the IBF and the WBO can say, Hey, we can wait one fight when Joshua takes on Wilder for Undisputed. Everybody, the whole world would wait on that fight. There would only be some people of Joshua fans who would say, We don't want to see that fight. Right? So, Joshua has come out, right? He's come out and said, it was an article. Let me show you the title they'll give it. Joshua wants to be undisputed. He Joshua sends warning to Wilder. He wants to be undisputed. Read it. <laughs> you know? But this is the headline. And we shouldn't even write a headline like that. He was saying, he's, Joshua talks stuff like, well, I'm going to take it step by step. And when I do get to Wilder, uh, or, you know, then I'll be ready. That doesn't sound like you want him right now. Right, what are we still a prospect or something? You're two-time heavyweight champion. That sounds like what it was before. That's why Wilder has come out and said, right? He's come out and said, listen, I'm never fighting against Anthony Joshua. Right? I think Wilder's basically giving up. They're gonna have to call him. That's how I would be if I was Wilder anyway. Y'all just call me. Because Wilder says, listen, let's be honest, man. After a fight like that, you know, why didn't anybody mention me at all? You would have to be going out your way to not mention me. You know what I'm saying? I got the WBC belt. I'm the man. The winner of that. You're full of adrenaline. Normally, adrenaline makes you say, you know, it's almost like being drunk. Makes you say a whole lot of stuff. Well, come on. You know, what's, what's up? All that old good stuff that's supposed to be happening when you're full of adrenaline? Mm-mm. 
<laughs> he says a drilling minimum. Ain't nobody mentioned Deontay Wilder after that fight. Ridiculous. Impossible. Because it's like you just won the three belts. You want the other one. Like any other champion would. But he didn't. And he ain't saying nothing about Wilder. And they know it. And so Wilder's like, I give up. I'm basically, we're not going to have that fight. I don't think that, that we should be telling the fans that it's going to happen. Because it's just not. I'm just, I'm too dangerous. How can you, you know, not mention me after that fight? And I agree with the man. Let's be real. Man, bottom line, like I said in another video, ain't nobody in a rush to get a DWI, right? Daniel Joshua does not want a DWI, and that's a Deontay Wilder injury. He don't. That's what's up. And the, the fans don't want a DWI either because they don't want to see their boy be a victim of a Deontay Wilder incident, right? It's what it is, and that's what we're going on here, and that's why it's unfortunate for us boxing fans, we're not going to get undisputed. Everybody's going to be talking about everything else. And let's remember, the WBO coming in right now talking about it has to be Uzik. Ask Uzik. He ain't going to say that. And another thing, let's remember, when the negotiations between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder were going on and going back and forth with these ridiculous fans, that don't you guys don't want to see a fighter fight the hardest ones, right? And to be the very best. But anyway, he's arguing back and forth. Right. And then we had, you know, Deontay Wilder agree to some ridiculous terms to go to England to fight him. When he did agree for that, what did we have there? Anybody remember? That's when they came in with the WB. What, which one was that? Alexander Povetkin with the WA. You got to fight Alexander Povetkin. You got to sign a contract within 24 hours with Alexander Povetkin. Two time doper. But he stopped negotiation with Wilder now because you have to fight Alexander Povetkin. You think they did that without no money? Why? We're, we're, we're negotiating an undisputed fight here. Excuse me, get out the way for a minute. We'll get back to you when we just want to fight anybody. That's what everybody involved should have done. No, okay, well, the WBO said Pavekin, then we're going to have to hurry up and fight Pavekin. And the WBA gave them what? 24 hours, right? Took them three weeks. Totally ignored their deadline. And then they signed it. That's the kind of thing that we've been watching, right? So that doesn't mean you don't, don't come with anything. We've been watching that. And they allowed that. And here, no one is saying, hey, Undisputed Trump's this. Undisputed Trump's that. Why aren't nobody saying that? The same reason why Canelo Alvarez did not have to fight on the Mexican holiday on September 14th against Demetrius Andre for an Undisputed fight. He was allowed to wait on K K Kovalev and Anthony Yard to fight sometime in November, which he never does. But because he was basically back against the wall, Undisputed fight. Nobody in boxing talked about an undisputed middleweight fight. We could have one middleweight champion right now. When you say undisputed, everybody gets allergic. Right now, we're one fight from having an undisputed fight in the heavyweight division. Both fighters come through their fights unscathed. They're uninjured, right? And they're available. And everybody will start talking about other things. That's when fear is involved. Because there's no way that the boxing fans, we want to see our team get to the semifinals and that's it. I don't want to see them beat the dude in the final. That's not in any sport. Hey, we're going to stop the Champions League at the, you know, at the final final eight. In the middle of the final eight. <laughs> you know, so what, what is that? The, the best beat the best. And when it, it doesn't happen, it's always of something that's a common denominator when it doesn't happen with Undisputed. Somebody's very damn dangerous. That's the bottom line here. So, I agree with Deontay Wilder. We probably won't see no damn Wilder versus Joshua fight. So, I think Wilder should just get the PBC, let them do a tournament, and keep on trucking. Because it's not going to happen, and there's no reason to argue with these guys. Bottom line. Unfortunate, but bottom line. And one more thing. Bam. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. I know about you, y'all.